My name is Hafo and uh, today we've got an After Effects tutorial for you and it's basically optical flares and basically they're just a little bluey light things that go down your gun. They like move down your gun, they look pretty awesome. So let's get started, it's really easy. We're just going to go to our effects, right, and select my layer. Go to effect and then go to video copilot and optical flares as it is a plugin by video copilot. Now, um, we don't want this background to it, because, well, we just don't want a background, we want it over our own clip. So, we're just where it says, uh, on black, you're just going to click the drop-down arrow, and just go to over original. Now, you want to do this on, sort of a dark map, maybe. I kind of turn my brightness down a bit on this, it's still very bright, you still can't see it very well. But it's fine for the example. And you don't want this flare really, don't think it looks too great. So we're just going to go to options at the top, sorry, optical flares, and go options, and then just click that. And it'll bring up all our presets. Now, the one I like is in Pro Presets, and it is called Highlighter, I think. Is that not it? No, that's not the one. It might be. Yeah, this is an alright one. Can use this. Uh, basically, we're just going to click OK once we found the one we like. And now you will see. Oh crap. Um, now you will see that when I drag that onto the gun, you can see it's not really bright. I need to turn it up a little. That's probably a bit much. Actually, no, I'm, I'm going to change it. I saw there was another one that I quite liked that was probably more bright than this. But I mean, you can choose whatever one you want. Uh, yeah, my one's up here. This one. I like this one. This one's like more in your face, sort of thing. It's not too bright though. Change it back to a hundred. Right. So we've imported our flare and we have it on our clip. This is great. Now what we want to do is we want to move it down the gun. So we're going to click where the start of our twixter is. Where is mine's here? And uh, where we've got. Um, like the very first frame of Twixter where it's not Twixter, it's 100%. The frame before our 5% starts. I'm just going to click this little keyframe here for brightness and this center position X, Y. Um, we're going to turn our brightness down to zero. We're going to go forward a frame and change our brightness to 100. Now you will see that... Uh, Basically, our key, f our uh, flare's been keyframed to the start of the gun, and uh, if you go to the frame before, you can't see it. So that's just basically switched it on. Now, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go to uh, our um, last keyframe of twi keyframe of Twixter, yeah, and just move the flare down the gun a little. Not too much on Twixter, you shouldn't have it zoom down the gun, it doesn't look too great. So you just want it to uh, go down pretty slowly. So I'm just going to keyframe that, it's already done. And we're just going to turn our, click this little diamond here for our brightness to add a keyframe to the current time. So we're going to click that. Then we're going to go forward a frame and uh, we're going to change this brightness to zero. And that is all there is to it, guys. It's really easy. Um, looks pretty nice on Twixter. You'll you'll have seen it quite a bit, I'm sure. Um, try and stick to it with Twixter. I mean, it looks best that way. Or if people have it on intros as well, that's fine. You can have them going down the side. I don't know. Uh, anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this tutorial, please leave a like and uh, yeah, check out my other tutorials. I've got a tutorial on this color correction if you like it. Also, I will be starting my Road to a Montage series, hopefully this week, where I'll be showing you how to do how to make your montage from start to finish using the effects that I've demonstrated in previous tutorials. So I'll kind of show you how to put them all together and like the best, you know, just the best ways to edit them in general. So yeah, thank you for watching, guys, and I hope you enjoyed.